Hello my crochet friend! Today, as you can see, I'm going to show you how to make four different autumn inspired appliques that you can use them for anything really, to make garlands for example, or using them as actual appliques and sew into different projects that you are doing for autumn. How fun is that? So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and now let's begin! So in today's video, I'm going to be using a mixture of yarns. I have here acrylic, I have cotton, but they are all the same weight, number three, DK. And then I'm going to be using a small pair of scissors, a tapestry needle for the weave-ins, and a 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. And first, I'm going to be starting with the acorn. So I'm going to be starting with the brown. I'm going to make a slip knot, chain four. And I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain to make a ring. I'm going to now chain one, in which is not going to count as a stitch. And then into the ring, I'm going to work five single crochets. When you get into single crochet number five, don't finish it. Go ahead and get the next shade. I'm using here beige. And then I'm going to finish that last single crochet with the beige. I'm going to take the brown with me in between the stitches that I'm going to be doing next. So I'm just going to drop the little ends that I have here and just use the working yarns. So now into the ring with the beige now, work a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and then the last one is going to be a single crochet, but you're not going to finish the single crochet, you're going to change it into brown. So change into brown, we are going to be taking the beige with us in between the single crochets. You can count from the beginning. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So this is our next stitch. So single crochet into the next stitch available, and then single crochet into the following one, and then into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then slip stitch all the way down, skipping the first chain. So slip stitch into the second, slip stitch into the third, and slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook, like this. Now single crochet into the same stitch that you did the last single crochet, and now single crochet into the next two stitches. But don't finish the last one. We are going to change into beige. Make sure that everything is nice and tight. We can now drop the brown and just use the beige to finish it off. So go into the next stitch and single crochet. Following one, single crochet and the next one is single crochet. So single crochet into the next three stitches and then into the following one, work two single crochets into the same stitch and now you're going to work one single crochet into the following three stitches. And now to finish it off, just slip stitch into any stitch that you can see here on the side where you have the brown. And now you can chain one, cut off both yarns, fasten off the beige, and you can now weave in the yarns that you have here at the back. So this is how you crochet the little acorn applique. And now I'm going to show you how to make the tiny little pumpkin. So I'm going to be starting with the orange. So I'm going to be making a magic ring, but you can also do a chain of four and slip stitch to make a ring, like the acorn. I'm going to chain one, in which is not going to count as a stitch, and I'm going to work eight single crochets into the ring. So once you have eight 
single crochets, pull the tail, the end to close the ring, and we are not going to slip stitch, we are going to work continuously around. So into the following stitch available, work one single crochet and one half double crochet, all into the same stitch. And then into the following one, work two double crochets, into the next stitch, work two double crochets, and then into the following one, work one half double crochet, and a single crochet, but don't finish it. Bring now the brown, so now take the brown, and finish the single crochet with the brown. You're going to be dropping everything. Make sure that you just leave a little tail for the weave in when you're changing colors. I'm now going to chain four, three and four. And then I'm going to be skipping the first chain, going to the next one, slip stitch, following one, slip stitch. You can now cut off the brown, leaving a tail for the weave in. We are now going to be changing colors into the last chain. So going to the last chain, I'm taking two loops of that. I'm going to drop the brown. We are not going to be using that anymore. I'm now taking green and I'm going to be finishing the slip stitch using the green. So now I'm going to be making a little leaf using the green. So chain four. And then I'm going to be skipping the first chain and then work three single crochets into the same next chain. And then do three single crochets into every chain down. So into the next two that we have here. Make sure that the last one you get two little loops and I'm going to be changing colors into the last single crochet. So make two single crochets into that last chain and then don't finish the last one. You can now cut off the green, leaving a tail for the weave in and now I'm going to be changing back to orange. So the orange is here. Make sure that you just move around all the ends you have and then take the orange, tighten the green and finish the last single crochet using the orange. Just make sure that you tighten everything, it's going to bring everything closer to the base again. When you tighten the orange as well, it's going to be very close to the base as you can see. Now you're going to find the next stitch available which we can clearly see is right here. So into that, you're going to work a single crochet and a half double crochet into the same stitch. So now work two double crochets into the following stitch. Two double crochets into the next stitch. And then into the last one, work a half double crochet and a single crochet, all into the same stitch. And then if you want, you can slip stitch into the other side. Now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. You can tighten the center by pulling the tail here. It's going to tighten it. And here's now the tiny little pumpkin, <laughs> so cute. And you can now weave in the yarns that you have here at the back. So with the two orange, I'm going to make a knot. And it's also going to tighten a little bit the bottom here and it's going to kind of bring it in a little bit. So I'm just gonna make a knot here and then I'm going to weave in. So when you do the other weave ins, you can also make knots with the matching ends. So it's going to look like this. You can see that it's really nice and tight now that I did the knots. And you can now just hide these yarns into the corresponding color.
So these are the pumpkins. Now I'm going to show you how to make this little leaf right here. And this one I did in green. The next one I wanna do in mustard. So begin by making a slip knot and then chain 12. So once you have a chain of 12, you're going to be skipping the very first one and then you're going to single crochet into the next four chains. So two, three, and four single crochets. Now into the following stitch, work one half double crochet, into the next one, work a double crochet, a treble crochet, and a double crochet all into the same stitch. And then into the next chain, work a half double crochet, and then into the following one, work a double crochet. Now into the following chain, work three treble crochets, all into the same chain. Now half double crochet into the following one. Now into the last one, we still have one more, work two double crochets, and then a treble crochet, and two double crochets all into the same chain. Look what happened. <laughs> there is a little knot here. I don't know what happened. There we go. So I need to make two double crochets, right? Yeah. So two double crochets. There we go. So we have five stitches here at the end. So now we are going to be working on the other side of the chain. We are going to be skipping that very first one and we are going to go into the next one where we did the half double crochet. So here, this one. So work a half double crochet into that one and then into the following stitch work three treble crochets and then a double crochet into the following one so double crochet and half double crochet into the following stitch. So now into the following one, work a double crochet, a treble crochet, and a double crochet all into the same stitch. And now to finish it off, work a half double crochet into the following stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into any next stitch you can find just like this now we can chain one cut off the yarn leaving a tail for the weave in and now we can fasten off and here's our little leaf so now go here at the back and weave in the two little ends that you have so here's the leaf completed and now I'm going to show you one last one. So this is going to be the last one in which it's a maple leaf inspired, as you can see. I love this one so, so much. And I'm going to be actually making this one in a different color as well so that we have all the leaves super colorful. So I'm going to be making it in orange. So you can begin by making a magic ring in which is what I'm doing or a chain of four and slip stitch to make a ring. So I'm doing a magic ring and then I'm going to be chaining three. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to be working into the ring two double crochets. And 
and then three treble crochets. So one, two, three treble crochets. So now chain one and then to continue the other side work three treble crochets into the ring and then two double crochets. Now you're going to chain three and slip stitch into the ring and now we can close the magic ring and you're going to be having something like this so to begin round two i'm not going to chain one or anything i'm going to go straight into the chain three that we have right here on the left side at the beginning so i'm going to actually use the chains that we have into the chain three so go into the first one and work a single crochet into that and the next chain single crochet and then the last one the last chain and single crochet so we have three single crochets here at the beginning so now i'm going to chain one and i'm going to find the very first stitch available in which is the very first double crochet that we did so into that work a double crochet so one double crochet a chain of one and one double crochet and then chain one slip stitch into the following stitch chain one and then make the shell into the next stitch available in which is the double crochet chain one and double crochet so into the following stitch work a double crochet chain one and double crochet so now chain one, slip stitch into the following stitch, chain one, and then we make the shell again into the following stitch available. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So now you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the chain one space right here at the top. So now for the chain one space is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to chain two, and then you're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all into the same chain one space at the top. And then you're going to chain two and slip stitch into the chain one space. Now just open it up a little bit so you can find the very first stitch, which is the first treble crochet. So chain one. And then into that next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And then chain one, slip stitch into the following stitch, chain one and then double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the following stitch. So now chain one, slip stitch into the following stitch, and then chain one, and then double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the last stitch. So now you're going to chain one and then you're going to work one single crochet into the next three chains that you have here at the bottom. So the first one, the second single crochet and the last single crochet. And then if you want, you can slip stitch into that very first single crochet. And then you can make the little stem at the bottom if you want. Otherwise, you can fasten off right here. I'm going to make the little stem, as you can see. So chain six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then skip the very first chain and then slip stitch into the next five chains. So two, three, four, and five. 
and then when you get at the bottom just open it up a little bit and then slip stitch into the same slip stitch that you did here at the end there we go so now chain one cut off the yarn and fasten off and here's the leaf the cutest thing look at it in orange this is the cutest thing so now i'm going to weave in the two ends that i have here so this is how you crochet four different autumn inspired appliques let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and stay tuned because monday i'm going to show you something that you can actually make using them I'm so excited for that video and you can sew them into many different projects to make it super autonomous for example jumpers cardigans mittens tote bags beanies imagine the cutest thing would be a jumper or a cardigan with all of these little appliques sewn into it by the little stem so they will be hanging my goodness i think i have to do it let me know in the comments <laughs> These are just some examples for you guys, but just be creative and do what your heart desires. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. And if you make them and you do anything using them, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, TikTok, so I can see your take on it and what you're going to be using them for. So if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more autumn videos <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye